but today I'm going to be installing the key remote start on this year model Camry. Um, it's a lot more than what I thought it was going to be. It's a big wiring harness with its own, it's like, you know, computer for it. Well, maybe not a computer, but it's a big box. I wasn't expecting to be with it, but uh, I got the 2,000 feet one, and it's a lot of papers on how to put this in, so... Do it step by step, and hopefully this will help you. This is my first time ever doing something like this on a new vehicle, but we'll go from here. First, we're going to remove this, then that kick panel. And as you can see, I'm using something we call a bone to pop this off. So it doesn't scratch anything. Alright, now that's off, we can start removing this, which I believe is held in with pins as well. Instructions is pretty helpful. Okay, so apparently there's a plastic nut and then two clips. And as you can see, there's the plastic nut it's talking about. Okay, and then there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt here. And a uh, Phillips there. Alright, then you're going to have to crank the car. And turn the steering wheel so you can get to these bolts or these screws. Alright, you're gonna stick the bone in there and it'll force it to separate. I still have the car running. Alright, and this side ain't working out as well. There it goes. Alright, now that is off, you can access everything down below. And right, next you're going to want to do the same thing on this side. We did the other side. Pop this off, then that. There's a bolt there, and there, and they're both 10 millimeter. Well, I don't believe you have to take that one out. You might. Alright, then you're going to want to take this off. You just pry on that corner there and it'll pop off and then you can look down here and then you just pop all these tabs off. That does not have to come out that I know of so far. Uh, I probably should have done this in step one, but it didn't say that. Now we're getting to the OBD thing. We have to trace the wire back and unplug it, which I think is right up in there. Alright, so this looks to be the OBD wire here because this is exactly the same as that. And I'm gonna disconnect the battery first just to be safe. Okay, so I was wrong. This is the OBD and what I'm gonna do is just plug it into the OBD there. And this is your, gonna be your scanner tool. I'm gonna let it hang and just tuck it up. That's the way most vehicles are. You tuck it up into the dash and then you pull it out when you need it. And then the rest of this, I was wrong about that plug over there. I think it's the TPMS wire. And you're going to have to run this little bitty plug through the dash somehow. But we'll figure that out. Alright, so there's apparently tabs on the side. You can pop the old one out. And it's hanging in there now. And you plug the one side in. And then the other side, a snap right through the hole. And hang out like the old one did. So now we're going to do the ignition T-harness. Which is going to be... This wire here, you see in the picture right below the ignition, which is, uh, I can't get to it. Just like so, it's plugged in. Then you have all this left over, and then this wire right here plugs into that wire and then it plugs into of course the other side like we did the other two all right now that we got all that hooked up we can now plug in this side like i showed in the beginning and you're gonna have to run this in up and through the dash and over and plug it into the new harness and right, i'm gonna try and take this out to see if it'll be easier to run it behind there because there's a lot of this stuff in the way
you're gonna have to go up around the edges and pop it loose right there and then right there and it should lift right out mm -hmm. I need it right here right there I'm gonna get it up behind it and just wiggle it up and down. All right, guys. So everything is ran now. Just have these two wires left. Apparently, this is a hood pin that it talks about having to run. So we're gonna try and hook this up. I guess one's for if you have a hood pin already, and other ones if you don't. We'll see. But uh, around the wire, you know, there's a little rubber piece down there. I tucked it up behind it, tucked it up behind this piece here, and just ran it straight across, pulled it as tight up as I could, and plugged it in right there. And I still got everything hanging out, but we'll go from there. Okay, so we got the uh, three lock working. Um, but this 2,000 feet remote, we cannot get to work. So, we'll have to figure that out. I'm sure it's just a defect from us. Like we're going to have those, but...